Okay, for this video, what I want to do is show you an application of law of sines. And in this particular example, we are given angle side angle, which means that we are given an angle with a side in between or two angles with a side in between. All right, so the situation that we have is due to wind, a tree grew so that it was leaning four degrees from the vertical. So it was not standing at a 90 degree angle. Instead, it was um, formed a 94 degree angle from the base of the tree to the top. At a point 40 meters from the tree, the angle of elevation at the top is 23 degrees. So this angle down here on the ground, the angle of elevation up to the top is 23 degrees, and we're going to find h, which is the height of the tree. All right, so if you remember, law of sines is that says that the sine of any angle over the opposite side um, is equal to the sine of another angle over the opposite side, and you could do it for all three angles. So the only thing we need to find on this one is h. So we are for sure going to use the sine of 23 over h, or you could say h over sine of 23. I tend to write it where if I'm looking for a side, I put it on top. If I'm looking for an angle, I put it on the bottom, but it really doesn't matter because you'll get the same thing either way. Okay, since we know this side down here of 40, we have to find the angle opposite of it. So the angle opposite of side 40 is this top angle up here. So we don't know that angle. So let's just call this angle C. It doesn't really matter what we call it, um, but the angle from the top of the tree down to the ground. Um, and to do this, what we can do is we can say that 180 minus the sum of the 23 and 94 would give us that missing angle. So if we solve this, we end up with angle C is equal to 63 degrees. So if I take the 23 plus the 94 and subtract it from 180, I end up with 63 degrees. So now what we would do is we would set up our sine of 63 in the denominator. Now all we have to do is just multiply both sides by sine 23 to get it to the other side. Let me grab a different color. So I can say that h is equal to 40 times sine of 23 degrees over sine of 63 degrees. And now we just simply have to plug that into a calculator. It doesn't matter what calculator you're using, whether you're using um, a simple, um, a simple scientific calculator, sorry, the name slipped my brain, or a graphing calculator, you always want to make sure I was doing some other work. Um, you always want to make sure that you are in degrees whenever you are working with law of signs, so we are. And then all we have to do is plug in our values into here. So I would just do 40 times sine of 23. Make sure you close your parentheses divided by sine of 63. So you plug it in exactly how we had it written on paper and then just hit enter and we end up with approximately 17.54. As far as rounding goes, the more decimal places you have, the more precise your answer is. So it's really just a matter of preference. I'm gonna just round to two decimal places for this one because it's two more than what I was originally given. I could round it to the nearest whole number and say that it's 18 meters. Um, like I said, the more decimal places you leave, the more precise your answer is. So the height of this tree is 17.54 meters. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.